Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now another DIY vlog. Today, I am going to be showing you my planner lineup for the year 2020. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Okay, so this year I'm going to be using two planners. Very simple, um, very easy to follow. I'm going to be using the Erin Condren Academic Planner, which I do have a flip through of on my channel. So I will try to link that in the description box below. But this will be the one for all of my needs. Um, it has project stuff in it. It will be my content calendar. It will be my regular week to week planning. Um, I am a teacher. I am a student. And I'm hopefully trying to get this YouTube channel off the ground. So all of that stuff will go into this, into this one planner. I'm not very good at keeping up with more than just this one. Um, but I'm going to try my best. So that is this planner. Again, if you want to see what it's looking like, please check out the description box below. The other planner I'm going to be using is going to be this vertical planner from... Um, Recollections is a recollections vertical planner. This is just for creativity's sake. So I will not be putting any real plans in this. I will be using it to decorate um, just so I can have a creative outlet that is not my planner. So that way on weeks where I have to use this um, use this planner for fully functional things with no decorations, just pen, paper, me writing down all the things that I need, then I can have this one as a backup to um, be creative in. So I will flip through this one really quick. It has this lovely floral. I guess I was going with the theme there. But it has this lovely floral pattern. I could get like a decal and put my name there. That would be cute. It has a little pocket here that you can put things in. Um, year at a glance for 2020 and 2021. Year in review. Um, important context, which I would probably never use. Uh, game day. Blank, vacation, happy birthday, and doctor appointments, hair appointments, dentist appointments, and regular appointment stickers. And then it has these. These are really cute. Okay, it has a little pocket here, which is nice. And then we get to the regular. So I will just be planning this as if I was um, just decorating. So I would decorate my monthly here. Um just for fun's sake and then the weeklies so it'll be very simple and i can flip through all of the um tabs so you can see what they have on them it took me a while to pick a planner just to do this in i didn't want to pick another horizontal because really that is uh to me more functional so this one would be more decorative in style february is just this color situation here and we have March May oh I skipped one March April which says make it happen May June July August September October November, December, you are lovely, and then it has a note section here with line and a little bit of dot grid there on the side. You have a substantial amount, so those could be used for something. And then also, I just had an idea, you could use these and you could put your own quote on them. So if you had like a Cricut or something like that, you could use this for your own quotes page. And then after each month, there is one notes page. So, I will be using this in a decorative fashion. And to be honest, that, that's this video. Quick, simple, and to the point. These are my two planners that I will be using for the year 2020. If you like this video and you want to see how I'm going to be planning in both of these videos, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss those videos. And then hit that thumbs up button just to give me a few likes. Thank you guys and have a great week. Bye-bye.